India has successfully tested its autonomous flying wing technology demonstrator at the aeronautical test range at Chitradurga, Karnataka, as announced by its Defence Research and Development Organisation DRDO, in a media statement released on July 1. The unmanned aircraft, also known as the Stealth Wing Flying Testbed, or SWIFT, is a significant step in India's attempt to indigenize its armed forces to reduce its reliance on foreign suppliers. The drone's airframe, undercarriage, flight control and avionics systems are all indigenously made, according to the Indian Ministry of Defence and as reported in Defence News. Times now states the dimensions of the SWIFT drone is 3.96 metres long, with a 4.8-metre wingspan, and weighing approximately 1,043 kilograms. However, Defence News also notes that this one-ton drone is powered by a Russian NPO Saturn 36 mt turbofan engine, suggesting that India has not yet perfected the technology to manufacture small aircraft engines for drone use. However, Times now reports that the small turbofan engine STFE, by DRDO's gas turbine research establishment GTRE, based in Bangalore will replace the Russian-made engine. According to the Russian defense site Top War, a flying wing design gives increased flight speed, lower drag and greater invisibility to radar but at the cost of flight stability, low maneuverability and loss of lift. According to the Russian defense site Top War, a flying wing design gives increased flight speed, lower drag and greater invisibility to radar but at the cost of flight stability, low maneuverability and loss of lift. Notwithstanding these mixed performance characteristics, the German Horden Ho-229 prototype fighter bomber and USB-2 stealth bomber featured the flying wing design. In addition, several military powers apart from India have designed their flying wing drones, with the US operating its RQ-170 Sentinel, Russia its Su-70 Okotnik-B, and China its Hongdu GJ-11. A stealthy drone such as the Gotik may be the answer to bypassing formidable air defenses such as China's HQ-9P. As such, India's Gotik drone may be like the US RQ-180 stealth drone, which Forbes describes as an unmanned stealth bomber designed by Northrop Grumman to fulfill a US Air Force requirement for long-range deep penetration missions in heavily defended airspace. Although judging by its dimensions, it may be more like the older RQ-170 Sentinel drone, which has the same task set as the RQ-180 but with comparatively limited capability due to its smaller dimensions. Yeah.